I need to sort out a charge port for the Land Rover. Now I've seen a lot of uh, classic conversions use the original fuel filler um, as the new charge port, but in the Land Rover this would be about the most inconvenient spot to plug a fast charger into. So I'm going to locate the charge port in the same location it was in the Tesla. That is the back left hand corner. This works pretty well in the Land Rover because uh, it's got a storage locker that I can easily locate the charge port into. Also means I don't have to stuff around changing the length of all the charge port wiring. I fiddled around for a bit to see if I could neatly incorporate the motorised door of the Tesla but then decided that there was no real elegant way to do this. So yeah, I think I'll be fine just using the locker door as the charge port door. A bit of cardboard aided design to mock up a bit of a bracket to hold it all. Then I transferred this design onto a piece of alloy plate. I needed to use a big grommet to pass the wiring through into the battery box. To be able to fit the grommet onto the wire, I would need to take the uh, plug off the end of the wire. Some bespoke clip releases were required. Oh, you've got it out. Come on, baby. You can do it. Just, there we go, got it. Now that one's grabbed. No. Come on. Come on. Got it. Beautiful. It's these two here. No worries. So now I can... Don't have to try and get that big bastard through a grommet. It's just... Uh, this big bastard. <laughs> so I've got a nice, soft, big... Grommet, Nissan Leaf um, firewall, main harness firewall grommet. Got off a Nissan Leaf wiring harness. Obviously, we'll need a bit of lube, a bit of uh, rubber grease. This is a bonus of this rubber grease is if you cut yourself, it'll hide the blood. Oh, it's amazing what a bit of rubber grease does. Oh, so easy. Now the big one. Moment of truth. Might go a bit more grease. Okay. Oh. Lovely. It's all on and I've got a good seal. So I'll probably put some silicon around there to seal it properly. Just push straight in. That's easy. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful connector. So easy. Lovely. Beautiful. All back together. Reveals an interest bigger trend, one that's causing angst for both people.
Dunlop was Prime Minister between the issue in the sense that uh, fewer young people are voting for cons like Conservative Party. I bent up some thin aluminium sheeting to separate the charge port from the rest of the storage locker. Okay, charge controller. Right, so I want to try and make this waterproof. It sits up high in the back corner there, but might as well try and seal it as best I can. The weak points these plug holes, there's big holes in there and obviously the pins aren't sealed. But if I can get silicon, just jam some silicon in there, I reckon that would work. So it's plastic welded in these spots, so I've got to get these out first. And do a lot of these anyway, other than just make it so it doesn't fall, like it's quite loose in there. And it's these bits that sort of hold it in place anyway. Alright. This lifts out. I like how they don't. Um, there's no solder in those pins. They're just push, um, press fitted in. So have to be a bit careful. I mean, they're sort of more reliable that way. The thing is, I don't want silicon getting all over the pins. So I might just do those holes. Do around the pins. Around with a small little screwdriver to get in the middle of these, I reckon. Afterwards, make sure it goes in between the pins here. And all nicely around all the pins now. So. Carefully place this back in. Oh, that's pretty good actually. I'm just going to get the excess silicon around those big holes to make sure the plug plugs in properly. Right, actually, I might as well just instead of Reheating these to hold it in. I'll just take a little bit of silicon on them, I reckon. And yeah, if I ever need to remove this, it's not too much of an issue. And then I'm just going to run around here. Now I'm going to go across the middle here. Just put a heat up through here. Close it up. That'll work pretty well. If I ever go under really deep water, then there's more chance that water will stay out. Okay. I'm gonna drill. This is the mount for the charge port controller. That's the charge port. So I'm just going to drill out the uh, spot welds and use that bracket because why not? It's a nice bracket and I can just rivet it on. Beautiful. Then it was time to start investigating how I'd integrate the charge port status LED. Interesting, so this is the main plug-in here. This is the light, charging light LED. And then it's got some wires here to this sensor here, which is where you push the charge door here. 
got this plastic thing here that pushes against this thing. Um, must be a little switch that can sense a tiny bit of flex or something. I should take that off and have a look. And that opens the charge door so you can do it manually. Just push on the corner and it'll open. So I'll just put the sticker on there, on the back. I mean, it's subjective. I quite like, you know, the stylized L. I quite like it. This is the Tesla. I've got a bit more. Well, maybe I should have put an underline there anyway. I think that's pretty good. Okay, so this is dried enough, it's not dry dry, but it's dry enough to peel this off. Yes, nice, pretty cool, I've got an L, good one. Charge port is done. It's pretty, it was a pretty fun part of the project, that one. Uh, I've got the uh, overriding release thing for the pin in there, which all EVs have. In case the charger won't release, you've got an emergency release. Uh, and <laughs> one of the cool, one of the best bits, the uh, replace the T with an L. Anyway, so that's the uh, charge indicator light. Um, yeah, and just a bit of Perspex with matte black sprayed on the back. Quite happy with that. Um, also, the charge cable where it goes into the battery. Um, filled all that with polyurethane and put tape around it. So this should actually seal a lot better now. I'll probably put a little bit more urethane around that when it goes into place finally. And then also waterproof the charge controller with silicon. And this mounts, where's this mount? This mounts up here on the top of the toolbox thing. And these plug into it. Pretty happy with that. Very happy with that, actually. It's a cool job to have done.